How you doing? Mr. DJ's back. Gonna cut a couple of video couple of videos tonight. We hours of the morning. It is uh Wednesday, no Thursday, Thursday morning, June 24, 20, 2016. And uh let's go ahead and get on with the music. Billboards Hot 100 out so still outsourcing Billboards Hot 100, June 25th, 1976. Lost 45 by the Silvers, Cotton Candy, making its debut at number 91 on Billboards Hot 100. It'll get as high as number 59 uh, on Billboards Hot 100 for seven weeks. It was a follow-up to their mega hit, Boogie Fever. Cotton Candy, not really, it's a nice record. Just nice to listen to. It's not a heavy rotation record. It's just something that you slip in light rotation, play it about two or three times a day, just something a little nice to listen to. But it not not a hit, not nothing like Boogie Fever or the songs that would come after that, like Hotline and High School Dance. <laughs> yes, I remember that. Foster Silvers, I believe, sings on this one. Foster Silvers, who had that hit misdemeanor back in the summer of 1973. And uh, I want to talk about Fonts, well, not, well, I won't mention Fonts Vassell in just a minute, but Freddie per Perrin. P-E-R-R-E-N, in case I'm mispronouncing his name. Freddie Perrin, I've always been kind of fascinated with him. Freddie Perrin produced this album by the Silvers. The album was called Showcase, featured Boogie Fever and Cotton Candy. He also co-wrote the song Boogie Fever and Cotton Candy as well. Uh, Freddie Perrin. Freddie Perrin from New Jersey. He graduated from Howard University in 1966. He met the Fassell brothers, uh, Macell rather, brothers rather, M I C E L L, Fonts Macell, particularly. I believe he was a bass player, a musician, and he also met a guy named Deke Richards. Now here's 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 the thing, Fonts Macell, Deke Richards, and Freddie Perrin started writing songs together. That got the attention of Barry Gordy of Motown. Motown invited these three guys to become part of a collective, a songwriting collective called the Corporation. This was in 1968-69. The Corporation's sole purpose, or their major purpose, writing hit records for the Jackson Five. And boy, did they ever. 1970, 71, they were popping it out for the Jackson 5. They uh, produced I Want You Back, ABC, Stop the Love You Save, Maybe Tomorrow in the Summer of 71, Mama's Pearl, I'll Be There, produced by the corporation, including Fonce Macell, Deke Richards, and Freddie Perrin. Freddie Perrin, you never heard of this guy, but I'm telling you, he's one of the big R&B producers back in the 70s. He moved on and co-wrote I Will Survive. He co-produced it. He co-wrote Shake Your Groove Thing. He also produced, he either co-produced or produced hit records by Tafaris, including Heaven Must Be Missing an Angel, which was a hit back in the summer of 1976. He produced this record. By the Silvers, Cotton Candy, coming in at number 89, making its debut at number 89 on Billboard's Hot 100, June 26, 1976.